Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Year of Boxes. Today we're having a look at my October 2019 scent box. So when it comes to fragrance subscription boxes, this is my favorite. I'm gonna tell you guys why. There's a definite reason why this one stands out when compared to all the others. But let's get started with the details. If you're not familiar with Scentbox, obviously they're a monthly fragrance subscription box. They're only $14.95 per month. They are shipping for free to US. I haven't checked on shipping details to see if they've updated that lately, but definitely to the US right now. Okay, so what you're gonna get in your scent box is a new fragrance every month. It's tucked inside here. I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but the thing that sets them apart is that you're also gonna get a new travel case every month. This is something that I appreciate because I don't think there's any other subscription or fragrance subscription boxes that send you a travel case every single month. Some of them do it with your first subscription. Some of them do it every season, um, but for sure, Scentbox, every single month. They're always a different color. I love it. I love to see what color I'm gonna get. Okay, the other thing with Scentbox is when you sign up for a subscription, you can add fragrances to your scent queue and that's the fragrance that they will send you every month. So you can line them up for a whole year and you don't have to think about it. But if you don't do that, then what they're gonna do is they're gonna send you the fragrance of the month. That's what this little card is here. So on the back, it tells us what the men's fragrance is because they have a men's subscription. And then on this side, they tell us what the women's fragrance of the month is. And it's Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. And actually, after I saw this, I was kind of having FOMO and I ended up adding this to my fragrance queue so that I could get it in a future box because it sounds really good and it gets really great reviews. So for the month of October, they did something fun with their bubble mailer and they did it pink and they have the breast cancer logo on there. They also have a little card here that talks about Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which I think is awesome. They did this last year as well. So I think this is something that they do every year. And I love that. Um, so obviously this is tucked inside your bubble envelope along with your little cards. And when you open this up, we have our fragrance inside. So along with the envelope having the logo, our travel case also has the logo, which I think is awesome. Again, they did the same thing last year. It was black with a pink logo. And now with the travel cases, like I mentioned at the beginning, they're always different colors. I think I've got like purple and pink and green and blue. And I just love that they do that. The other reason why I love the fact that we get a travel case, I'm gonna keep on going on and on and on about this. So your fragrance comes inside. And the idea with some other subscriptions is that every month they're gonna send you just the fragrance and then you're supposed to switch it out and put it into the travel case that you already have. This little uh, vial of fragrance is supposed to last you for a month, but I don't use mine that quickly because I don't wear perfume as often as most people do. So I never finish my vial. So if I was to get a new vial of fragrance, next month say, I wouldn't have a travel case to put it in unless it was sent box and they sent me a travel case with it. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm kind of rambling. So that's why I love this so much. Now, going back to this, like I said, 30 day supply, but if you don't use it as often as most people and you're like me, then you can kind of create yourself a little collection of fragrances. And I'm gonna show you how I store mine in just a second. On the bottom is where they tell you what fragrance you have that month. So I have Magnetism by Escada. And I added this to my queue because it had a ton of really great reviews. I think like a hundred and something reviews on the Scentbox website. And it's described as kind of fun and flirty and sexy. Uh, it's got a little bit of vanilla in it, a little bit of musk, but it also has some, some kind of like leafy greens and kind of like a fresh floral scent in addition to the vanilla and the musk, if that makes sense. Some describe it as an oriental scent. It's really lovely. It's not one that I would typically gravitate towards, but I love being able to test out new fragrances and just having different ones on hand. So now I'm gonna show you how I store them. 
I'm so excited about this. So this cute little case is something that I've been trying to find. There's actually a fragrance subscription that sells something similar, but it was a nightmare to try and get one of these cases from them. I'm not gonna tell you which one it was, but it was not a fun process. So I actually ended up finding this at Target. I'm gonna try and find the link and put it down below for you guys. So fingers crossed, because this is perfect. They sit in there nicely. You've got quite a few little slots for them so you can fill them up and have all your fragrances in there for the year. And it's really cute just to have on display. So I have mine in my office actually on one of my shelves. So then every month when I get my new fragrance, I just pop it in there and then I have them ready to go. So that's how I store them. I love it. <laughs> it's better than having them all rolling around in a drawer. And I just love this subscription. As far as fragrance subscription boxes go, hands down my favorite, definitely. And the price point is reasonable. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you want to see me unbox this one every month? Do you love my storage idea? <laughs> Do you wanna see more ideas like that for some of the other subscription box items that I get? Just let me know. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more.